Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. I travel a lot and uh, when I do, I like to take my ham gear with me and operate. I'm currently in Poland operating at SP Stroke K4OGO and I'm building an antenna I've always wanted to build. I really wanted to build this thing on the beach but just haven't found the time or the conditions to do it. It's called the Ribikoff antenna. It's a vertical and it's a multiband antenna from 10 to 40 meters. Some people have actually called it the Ribikoff 806 and include 80 and 6 meters, maybe with a little bit of different length of wire. The Ribikoff I'm building is a 40 to 10 meter multiband antenna. Yeah, it's a non-resident antenna and you have to use an ATU to tune it, but it gives you every band from 40 to 10. It was designed and is the brainchild of an Italian ham, IV3SBE, who now resides in Kenya as 5Z4ES. Uh, he gave it a Russian name, Ribikov, means fisherman because it's up on a pole, like a fishing pole. So we have an antenna designed by an Italian who lives in Kenya. He gave it a Russian name. And I'm an American in Poland building this thing. So um, it's an international antenna. My friend Tim, G5TM, did a wonderful video on this. I'll put a link to it down in the description. And he really goes over a lot of the uh, in-depth, detailed, technical information about this. Well, I just like to build things and see if they work. And that's what I'm going to do today. So stick around. Here's a quick sketch I did of the Ribikoff antenna. I'm going to be using 22 gauge wire. I know I've got 20 there in the sketch, but I decided to go with 22 gauge wire. The wire will be 7.6 meters high or about 25 feet as the driven element. This will come down to a four to one un, -un and I'm putting all of this on my seven meter pole that I have a couple extension pieces for so I can get it up to about eight meters long. Going to put about six counterpoise wires down and this whole thing will be anchored into the ground with a beach umbrella mounting piece that I've got in the States and brought over with me. Okay, from a coax up to a second floor window. Here's what we got. I've got a really cool beach umbrella stake that I, it's a spiral, goes into the ground. It's got a nice tightening screw, so it tightens up the pole pretty well. There's my four to one, un un. I've got six five meter long counterpoise wires into the ground and there's the wire going up the pole the ribikoff it's a 7.6 meter long wire and uh, as you can see that's a what i did was i have a seven meter uh pole but i have some extension parts so it's about eight meters with a little bit down in the ground with that uh beach umbrella holder there at the bottom but um there it is my ribikoff vertical and uh we're gonna go inside now we'll check a little swr and see if we can make some contacts Checking SWR with my Zygu G90, 40 meters was a little high but tunable, but when you get down to 17 and 20, it was in a pretty good range. Uh, actually, you might not even need a tuner for these, but when I got down to 10 and 12 meters, I was pleasantly surprised at the amazing SWR I was getting with this antenna. So this thing was going to be perfect for my Zygu G90 just to use the ATU and for the higher bands, not use it all. Okay, I'm using 50 feet of coax and um, up to a second floor window with my G90, as you saw there in the, uh, with, when I was checking SWR. Um, this thing performed well on every band. Um, struggled a little bit on 40, did make some contacts, and I made, made contacts all over Europe. I'm going to show you some uh, 40, 20, and 15 meter contacts, and then I'm going to come back to you and talk about the bands where this thing really excelled, the 10 meter band. Yes, yes, the uh, rig is the Zygu G90. 
And uh, the antenna I built is a 7.6 meter long wire on a pole. It's, uh, I guess, called the Ribikoff antenna. And I do have six, uh, about uh, five meter long radials below it. And all that's put together with a four to one unun. Uh, QSL, yes, I'm here working for six weeks. So uh, under the uh, CEPT, I'm doing a little, uh, little playing some radio while I when I'm off work. And thank you, Fred. Uh, as I said, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. A lovely signal this morning, too. Five nine, sounding very good. I am about 60 kilometers west of Gdansk. Roger. Uh, between Gdansk, Gdansk and Oshkin. QSL, QSL. Roger, yeah, I guess uh, I was not sure of uh, the portable. He had a Papa stroke, uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, telephone barrier. You got a Blue 5 and 9, 69, name Derek, Delta India Radio, Kilo, QSL. Uh, QSL, Derek, uh, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango, just running 20 watts in a vertical here, so thanks for the uh, for the uh, report there. You're a 5'9 as well here into the north of Poland. I'm about uh, 65 kilometers west of Gdansk up on the Baltic Sea. Wow, that's amazing. That's pretty good. I just put up a uh, vertical wire. Uh, it's just a 7.6 meter wire with a four to one um, unun underneath it and some uh, and some uh, ground, you know, some counterpoise. That's it. Just a portable on a pole. And um, I'm glad that I'm getting out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dirk. 73, bye bye. QSL, QSL, and you got it on the first try there. Very, very good. Uh, good signal here into the north of Poland here, and uh, you are about a 5.8, 5.8, uh, and steady. A little bit of QSV, but uh, you're punching through. Yeah, you're, you're peaking up to 5.9 volts. Uh, are, you, are, you, um, are you on the G90? QSL, I'm on the G90, and I have a, uh, the Ribikoff, I have a uh, 7.6 meter wire in the air with a uh, 4 to 1 unun. Hey, thank you so much, 73. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, now the 10-meter band. The 10-meter band, this thing excelled. I mean, I didn't even have to use an ATU and made my best contacts, the best DX contacts I could make with this thing. You know, the, I think the reason for that is at 10 meters, this thing is close to and nearly a three-quarter wavelength vertical. 
On 12 meters, which I can't use, I can't use 17 and 12 here with my license here in Poland, but on, on 12 meters, this thing is like at 5 eighths wave, or real close to a 5 eighths wave. So you know the, the takeoff angle right around 5 eighths to 3, three quarter wave is pretty amazing for DX. So here, here's my experience on uh, and a couple contacts I made on 10 meters. Okay. Trigger Papa Stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, you're about 5 and 5 in New York. Name is Ira, uh, QSL, Ira, thanks for taking the call. Can't believe I got through this pileup of 20 watts here. I'm uh, The name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango on the north coast of Poland, about 60 kilometers west of Gdansk. You're 5, 9, plus 10 here. Okay, well, actually, uh, you're, you're, you're running about an S5, the big pileup there. Uh, what, what kind of antenna are you using? I built a vertical, uh, the Ribicoff vertical, so 7.6 meters of uh, 22 gauge wire straight up with a uh, 4 to 1 un un and uh, about 6 counterpoise wires on the ground. Well, you're getting through here, Walt, with a 20 watt. That's good to hear, man. I, this is, uh, I've been here for a few days. I'm going to be here for six weeks. This is the first one back to the States, so thanks so much for taking the call. K4 Ocean Gulf Ocean in Poland. So, uh, Sugar Papa, you're five and nine. Uh, QSL, QSL, you are five and nine. I'm in the north of Poland, near Gdansk. Uh, near Gdansk, and the antenna is a dipole or? Uh, a negative. The antenna is a Ribikov. It is a 7.6 meter wire with a four to one anun. Uh, anun, oh, anun, oh, you're, you're lucky. You happy with the anun, or? I'm very happy. I just put it up and I'm just using 20 watts here. This is a Zygu G90 20 watts with this antenna. But is, uh, is it very expensive, the Anand over? Uh, no, no. The Anand, I purchased it in the States before I left for about 29 US dollars. 29? Uh, QSL. Why, why, why? Big difference. I've got you 100%. Okay, enjoy in Gdansk, and uh, may I teach you a new word in Polish? Dziękuję bardzo. Uh, yeah, yeah, talk, talk, dziękuję. Okay, enjoy, 73, see you next. Okay, this thing performs so well with my Zygu G90 and the ATU. I figured I'd try this on a, on a band without the ATU. As you saw earlier, I said, you know, you could probably get away with it because 20 meters was... I guess the SWR was somewhere around 1.7 to 1, 1.8 to 1. So um, I'm going to use my uh, little red brick here. So I brought this with me as a backup radio. I love this little radio. I really do. So um, we're going to go. I'm going to put some external power to it and use it as a handheld and, and make a contact. at 10. It'll, it'll be a 10-watt QRP contact. Here we go. Roger, Roger, you're 5 9 into Poland. I'm 10 watts QRP in the north of Poland. Roger, on that. Your QRP station working pretty good. And I have my antenna on the. practically on the back side, okay? I have a 310 degrees that is for UK from my position, okay? So I get you uh, on the back of my beam. Anyway, you come with 5 and 7. Between 5 and 7 and 5 and 9, okay? Your signal was 7. Well, there you go. My thoughts of this antenna overall. What a cool, amazing antenna. Yeah, it's, it's a compromise. Every antenna is a compromise. But when you're traveling with something, this is easy. I mean, I fit all this in my suitcase with a lot of other stuff as well. You'll see in future videos. But um, just a piece of wire, 7.6 meters long, and, uh, and some counterpoise wires below it, a 4 to 1 un un and some coax, man. This was easy, very easy to deploy. Really looking forward to getting back to the States and putting this thing up on the beach. I wish there was a way, I, I tell you what, my home base antenna is a major compromise. I wish there was a way I could construct one of these in my HOA situation and, uh, and use this permanently because I really like this antenna. Of all the uh, random antennas I've built, this one really impressed me the most. I really like this antenna a lot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. I'll see you soon.